Hello, my name is Louis Palivos. I hope that you have seen the prior videos and share them with others as a co-liberal. The next five signs are Israel is fertile, Israel rain increases, the exiles return to Israel, the Ethiopian Jews return, and the Hebrew language. Again, the transcript is found on my webpage in the articles that I have written, and then on the YouTube channel, a copy of this transcript. Palestine or Judea was conquered and named by the Romans circa 135 BC. The Belfer Declaration was a public statement issued by the British government in 1917 during the First World War announcing its support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. Then an Ottoman region with a small minority of Jewish people. The declaration was contained in a letter dated November 2, 2007, excuse me, uh, 1917, from the United Kingdom's Foreign Secretary, Arthur Balfour, to Lord Rothschild, a leader of the British Jewish community, for transmission to the Zionist Federation of Great Britain and Ireland. The text of the Balfour Declaration was published in the press on November 9, 1917. Quote, his Majesty's government view with favor the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people and will use their best endeavors to facilitate the achievement of this object, it being clearly understood that nothing shall be done which may prejudice the civil and religious rights of existing non-Jewish communities in Palestine or the rights and political status enjoyed by Jews in any other country, end quote. The Ottoman Empire, or the Turkish Empire, lasted circa 1299 to 1922 AD. After the breakup of the Ottoman Empire, new countries were created. Most Ottoman territories were divided among Britain, France, Russia, and in part Greece. Greece had gotten its independence in 1821, being enslaved for 400 years from 1421 to 1821. France controlled Syria and Lebanon. Britain controlled Palestine, Jordan, and Mesopotamia. Russia would control Turkish Armenia and northern Kurdistan. In fulfillment of two of the most astonishing prophecies in human history, Israel was regathered and exiles returned to Palestine as well as black Ethiopian Jews. Quote, And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 21. Quote, From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughter of my disperse, shall bring mine offerings. End quote. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 10. In 1948, Israel became an independent country. In 1967, Jerusalem came under the jurisdiction of Israel. So here we are today, awaiting the coming of the beast empire, the Antichrist, and the false prophet. However, believers are laboring and looking forward to the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God the Father, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us always.